Good clarity there. Yeah, it is what it is. Uh, so next topic up for us, the Pittsburgh Steelers are not re-signing Juju. Uh, or Connor. Yeah, or Connor. Um, and I don't and really And they've already come like, out and said that, even though they don't have to. I think they still have a year left on those deals. Yeah, they, uh, well, they, so they were the rookie deals, right? So it yeah, was a. They weren't first round picks. No, they weren't, but it, it was so, the. So it's not a fifth year tender because it's only for first round guys. Right, but it's still a four year deal because they were both second rounders. So it, it's four years. This is the last year of their deal. And. And then we'll see what happens. But uh, Ed Bouchette of The Athletic believes it is not likely that they will re-sign Juju. And he said that they will not re-sign James Conner. Now, he's just a reporter. This information came from uh, Art Rooney II. And yeah. and he, he said this back in January. He said, you know, obviously we want both of them to be here long term. We're not going to re-sign them before the season. And that's been the Steeler way is get your guys signed before the last year of their deal right. so that you make sure everything's good. Well, let me go through some of the numbers here just to kind of give you an idea because what he said back in January kind of meshes with the idea. Um, <laughs> Matt already jumped in. He said, the red banner's throwing me off. I keep thinking it's breaking news. I, we'll change the color on it. That's <laughs> that's why we wanted to toss Will it the in. the color affect it, Matt? Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> uh, but okay, so, so with the Steelers, Juju last year played in 12 games out of 16. He missed four games due to injury. He had 42 receptions, 552 yards, and only three touchdowns. Not great. And I understand the quarterback you play. You throw all of last year's numbers out. You can't, you can't say you understand that and then give that stat, though. You do that a lot. That doesn't make any sense. No, it, it absolutely makes sense. Like It look, doesn't. It I, just doesn't. Okay. Give me your side of the Juju story here. You cannot justify what happened last year when he had complete ineptitude and morons throwing him the football the entire season. Not not just one or two games. The entire season, they had a carousel of fools at the quarterback position. So neither one of them can have great games because everyone knows they can't throw the ball. We just play everybody man to man and blitz and rush the quarterback and make sure Connor doesn't get out. All right. It's so it's not hard to defend against a moron for a quarterback, somebody who cannot play the position. And they had two or three of those guys just rotate in and out of that spot. Yeah. No, you're you're right about that. So uh, every season but that have been not just good, outstanding for Juju. But here's great the, level but here's great the deal for Juju. What he did last year was very comparable to what he did as uh, as a rookie in 2017. In 2018, he had a breakout year. It was one year. And then he had what happened last year. So he's only had three years here. So we're not talking about a large sample size. He did really great when he was playing alongside Antonio Brown and the rest of that bunch, right? It was the same thing with James Conner. Not a great rookie year. Fantastic second year. And then last year, he only played in 10 games. He yeah, lost but his rookie year, he played behind Le'Veon. That's, yeah. That's, I, I, you don't have two running backs that can have good numbers. And he had agreed. a great second year because he was the only guy and Le'Veon was gone. And, and then that, his third year was everybody stopped Connor and Juju because the rest of these guys are worthless. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Matt jumps in and said Juju was so freaking hyped and just was a dud. He couldn't make plays. He could be on the downhill slide after everyone is figuring him out. And I think that's why the Steelers are, are holding on and waiting until this season to see what happens, right? Because I, I think this is complete foolishness, Bob. I he, think they're. I just think they're missing the boat on both of them. Let me let me get into Connor's numbers real quick. He he played in ten games last year. One hundred sixteen carries, only four hundred sixty four yards rushing. Had thirty four receptions for two hundred fifty four yards. He had seven total touchdowns in I ten games. I don't. I, once again, I don't care. Last year was a complete disaster for the Steelers offensively. Yeah. I don't care. Okay, so what happens if Ben Roethlisberger goes down again and you At have guys that time, cannot you have create? To have somebody who can run the offense if you want to correctly assess and judge the offensive skill players. So it, you you like to talk a lot of trash about Ben Roethlisberger. I do. 
constantly. If it, is, is Roethlisberger that good of a quarterback that nope. he completely changes these two guys? No. Okay. He's aptitude. He's he's capable. He's competent. You're you're. This is the argument that people have all the time, and 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 now we're about to go down a completely different rabbit hole. But I'm trying to make comparisons here. Tom Brady leaves the Patriots. They move into Jarrett Stidham. The Patriots have had Jarrett Stidham on their team for one year. They've seen him. They believe in him as their backup. Okay. Okay. They're going forward, and there are people out there in the media who are saying, "Well, they're going to be a three-win team now because the the separation between Tom and anybody else is massive." Okay. Okay. And they point to Peyton Manning and the Colts. And when Peyton left, they went from Super Bowl contenders to three win team. And the difference is one team is prepared for that escape and has at least tried to find somebody competent and capable. The other team's general manager openly came out and said, we don't worry about the backup quarterback because if Peyton goes down, we are, and I quote, fucked, and we don't practice fucked. Yeah. Okay? So that's how you go from there to there. Can the Steelers bring somebody in who is competent and capable? That doesn't mean Ben Roethlisberger is a god. It just means these guys are 50 feet of shit. Yeah. And that that's what's crazy is you're asking is Ben Roethlisberger a savior for these guys? No, I don't that's think not what I was asking at all. Anymore. Like, yeah, you did. You bloomed him up. You're like, is he so good that he's the only way they could be relevant? No, that's I think not saying that he's a guy in the league that can make those guys relevant. <laughs> uh, McKinnon jumped in on Facebook, said Chris is about to pop a gasket talking about Big Ben. Uh, yeah, I, and I get why you get upset about this, but I did have to ask the question, right? No, but you're not I, asking the question. You're literally trying to do a gotcha question because it doesn't No, this make is not sense. a gotcha question. This is literally for us to sit and discuss what is going on with the Steelers and why they would or would not be you're, willing to you're resign judging these two these players. unbelievably skillful players. I hope they leave. God, I want them to leave. I don't want them there. When, you're, when the teams that hate you love what you're doing, you're probably doing the wrong thing. That's a pretty good just baseline understanding of what's going on with leagues, all right? Yeah. The teams that hate you watch you just as closely as your fans. And if they're happy, you're doing something wrong. So stop what you're doing. I think Juju is an absolute elite receiver. And if he had 28 other quarterbacks in the league last year, he would have been just fine. Uh, you I think are the probably same right. thing for James Conner, but I also believe that running backs I'd never pay. So that doesn't make me feel bad that they're going to not pay him. I wouldn't pay a single one ever. Yeah, that's I, I agree with you about that. You just find another guy and, and say, "There's the whole go." I would pay Juju. I would not pay James Conner. Um, but my question but is: me. is if they've already come out and said this, if you're Juju, are you on the phone with your agent saying, "Get me the best deal"? There's no hometown discount. I don't care that I was drafted by the Steelers organization. If they're going to openly come out and tell people they don't want me. I want to find someplace else to be. Now you've risked that happening. That's yeah, that's a very good point. Um, and I, I think don't, that's now, ridiculous. That, that leads to the other question. You can't figure out your quarterback situation. That leads that's to a, th- that's a you problem as an organization. Art Rooney the second needs to try to figure out how the hell somebody can play quarterback. Well, they did come out and say that they believe in Mason Rudolph as their backup quarterback, and that is just absurd. Then, then they're just wrong. Like, then yes. they're just going to be bad for a long time. Yes, I agree. I agree. It, it, Matt jumped in on YouTube, said Steelers are a power running team. You need a good quarterback who, if the run game is not working, has to be able to throw it. it all of them. All of them are like that. Like it, it, Every team should be good at running the football at least somewhat, but you, regardless of everything else, you have to be able to throw the football. Like That's if just bottom line. you don't have a line. competent quarterback, the difference between competency and worthlessness is a is a chasm against NFL defenses. Even yes. bad NFL defenses will shut your ass down. Yeah, and now it is, I, I will still say this, it was remarkable that that team finished with eight wins last year. Yeah, there because was the defense no reason. played out of their mind. That's, remember, they, they lost. they struggled to score 13 points. They lost both games that Roethlisberger played in. That's yeah. how crazy it was. 
Like they went yeah, eight and the, six. The, the first game they lost that Roethlisberger played they, in, he they got played stomped. for like five minutes. Yeah. It's, well, no, no, no. The the first game, like he oh, he played the all the first the game. Second because, game he played in. Yeah, they, yeah. The first game was a Patriots game that just got their ass with. Yeah. Second game he played for like five minutes. Yeah, and and still only really lost count. the game by two points to the Seahawks. That, so that didn't really count. He didn't play that game. No, he he went out like at halftime. Like he, no, he, it was earlier than that. It was the first half. Of I'll that have game. to go back and double check that. That's I mean, it was like the it was first like quarter of that game. Uh, McKinnon jumps in. He said, "What about the defense? Fortunately for both Juju and James, they can get on anywhere they want in the league for a decent salary. I don't know about James, but yeah, Juju for sure. Yeah, James um, James won't get paid, but that's fine. He'll yeah. go somewhere. Uh, he said uh, Pittsburgh might have just shot themselves in the foot for two of their best offensive players. Maybe they're two best. And yeah, that's exactly oh, no, what we're talking. They about. are their two best offensive so, players. That's so, not debatable." Why would they? Why would they do this? Like, I, I don't have a good answer for why you would even discuss this. Like, if that's you're the, the the owner, why? That's that's the difference. All right, Daddy Rooney was an unbelievable owner and respected with everybody in the world that had anything to do with football and 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 everything. Uh, I don't know that the sons are always going to be that. Okay, I mean, I, I think we can don't. look at Jerry Jones and and say the same thing, right? Like it, the Jones kids, it's kind of the same. I don't thing. know. They seem to be doing a pretty good job running yeah, that front they're, office. They're okay, but they're, I mean, I don't, I don't think they're going to be what their dad is. And I, that's not to say that their dad is anything fantastic. Like Art well, Rooney was completely well, I, different. They were smart enough to take the draft picks away from him when he wanted to go out and spend a fortune on Johnny Manziel. So that's true. That's true. <laughs> I mean, I mean, they've done, they've done a better job than I think most, most kids who've taken over franchises have um, at an early age. I just, I don't know, man. I'm I'm gonna. I I, I don't. This doesn't make a lot of sense. That, to me. You know what I feel about Ben Roethlisberger as yeah. a character and a leader. Forget about his abilities on the football field. Character and leadership. I I I. There's there's ten million people in the world I trust at a, at a leadership before I trust Ben Roethlisberger. Okay. Yeah. And when a couple of last year after Antonio and, and Le'Veon were gone because both of those guys seem to be knuckleheads. We assume that, well, we got all the problems out of locker room and they've openly said the only leader we need in that room has been Roethlisberger. And as soon as they said that, I knew this team is no longer a threat anymore. Yeah. They're, they're just, I don't care the amount of talent and athletes they got. If that's the only leader you have in a locker room, I'll take my chances with any opponent they play. Yeah, that, it's, that it's, guy can't lead anybody. It's a problem. It's a it's a major problem, major major problem. And that um, came from the owner. That came from the general manager. And that came from the coach. And I that's know. where the organization has changed the values that the Steelers used to have. As a Steelers fan, it does not make me feel good. I will say that. No, I, I'm so. I'm going to tell you, it, it's a it's going to be a weird world. But if they don't fix the quarterback position at some point in time you are going to start seeing the Steelers in DFL and the Bengals and the Browns working their way up. Yeah. I don't mean they're competing for Super Bowls, but in that division, the 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 gold and black is going to be in the toilet pretty soon if they don't fix the quarterback. Yeah. I, uh, Defenses can only do so much for so long. At yeah. some point in time, every offense figures them out. You, uh, you are 100% right. 